Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a tutorial of my most worn favorite look to wear during the holiday season. A simple glittery eye with a bold red lip. It's a classic. It never goes out of style and I'm using a lot of new products, some of my favorite winter makeup and giving you tips and tricks, especially if you have dry skin. I give you a lot of recommendations as well. I'm really excited to say that today's video video is sponsored by Revlon. I get to introduce to you the newest product to their color stay line. I am so excited to be a part of this campaign because I have been using the Revlon color stay line since I was probably 15 years old, which was 10 years ago. <laughs> so this is a tried and true line for them and I mean I can speak from personal experience that the color stay line is the real deal because those products are some of the best, most long wearing products that you can find at an affordable price. I'm going to be talking about their Colorstay Matte Light Crayons. As you can see, I'm going to use the red colors, but these are a line of 12 saturated matte lip colors in a extremely comfortable, non-drying formula. They're packed with so much pigmentation. They glide on so smooth. You will see that in the demo and I think you guys will have a lot of fun with these. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right guys, so let's get started with the skin. Now with it being winter, my skin gets severely dry if I do not take care of it. As you know, if you have dry patches, makeup does not sit pretty over dry patches. So I'm going to go with one of my most hydrating bases that I have in my collection. That is going to be the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is a classic. I know you've heard of it before, but in the winter time is definitely when this gets the most use for me. It's just so intensely hydrating and I swear it smooths your skin for the makeup that goes on top. So we're just going to make sure our skin is nice and hydrated before we get to the base. I would say typically with winter foundations, I like to go pretty full coverage because you're not going to sweat it off. So it gives you that excuse. But today I feel like I'm going for something more glowy. So I'm gonna go with a foundation that has a decent amount of coverage, but has a glowy finish to it. I like using glowy foundations in the winter as well, again, because I feel like I don't get too oily I don't sweat so I don't end up looking too oily at the end of the day. I like a lighter weight foundation in the summer but in the winter I can get full coverage and I can still pull off glowy. I'm going to use the Dior Forever Skin Glow foundation for this one and I'm just using a beauty blender to spread this out. I will admit though, this is probably not my favorite foundation from Dior. I like, I feel like 99% of Dior's foundation. This one's probably my least favorite that they've come out with, but you can't tell me that this doesn't give the prettiest glow if you're going for something glowy. Okay, let's move on to the eyebrows. I'm gonna use my Gucci High Precision Natural Finish Eyebrow Pencil. I like this one because I feel like it gives a bolder brow. So if I'm going for a more natural fluffy look, I'll I'll use a different pencil, but if I'm ready for a full brow, this is the one that I go to. I'm gonna breeze through this really quickly, but I just brush my eyebrow hairs up, and then I outline the edges, brush down, outline the top, then I kind of fill in from here. Okay, and then I'm going to set my brows with the ABH Clear Brow Gel. This was the first brow gel that I ever used and it was my staple for many, many years. It really is a nice brow gel. There's just so many on the market now. This is a classic one and it does a really nice job. Okay, I know I look really funny right now. We're gonna move on to concealer to just pull everything together. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is their self-setting concealer, but let me tell you, it needs to be set. So <laughs> we will set it. But I mean, that aside, it's a really good concealer. I like to go a little bit heavy with my concealer in the winter. Like I said, I really tend to play off with, I'm not gonna sweat it off. So I do like heavy makeup in the winter for that reason. I mean, see how pretty that concealer is? It's been a while since I've used this. I kind of shot my stash a little bit for this video and pulled out some oldies but goodies. And this is a little bit brighter than my skin tone right now, which I like because it's highlighting just a little bit subtly. Okay, before I set the under eyes, I've talked about this before, but 
I prefer to use cream products in the winter. I know cream products were a huge thing this summer. I just can't get behind it because I feel like I get too hot. The cream products move. I look oily so, so, so fast. So I really honestly stay away from cream products in the summer, which is funny because that's when most people use it. But I like cream products in the winter because I'm not going to sweat them off. And I love the look of cream products. I really feel like they do blend into the skin so seamlessly they look one with the skin but I can really only pull it off in the winter and I have dry skin okay and I still feel like I get too oily with cream products in the summer so winter is when I pull it off and also since my skin is so dry in the winter or the cold weather the cream products help hydrate my skin so that's my theory I'm going against the grain I prefer cream products in the winter is anybody else with me <laughs> So I'm going to start off by cream contouring. Today I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. We'll use both. So I am going to still powder at the end of it all. But I have the shade Cheese Sculpted. I don't love this shade for me. It's a little bit deep, but we'll make it work. I'll be honest, it's been a hot minute since I've used this because it's not the perfect shade for me. So I'm going to use the cream bronzer. Like the cream bronzer on this is fine. It's the powder bronzer that I feel like is too dark for me. But the powder bronzer in the lighter shade of this is perfect. It's the exact kind of bronzer that I like, but the cream bronzer in that one is not a good color on me. So I feel like they need to be not switched, but this bronzer needs to be lighter. <laughs> Nonetheless, beautiful product. I'm still gonna make it work. A little bit under the chin. There's nothing more skin-like than a cream bronzer. I really do love a cream bronzer and a cream blush. This is kind of a cream blush, a little bit of a hybrid, but I'm gonna throw it back. This had its moment a few years ago. This is the MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Grand. I'll be honest, I haven't used this in a hot minute, but these are a really nice formula. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 106 brush. These are like a putty blush almost. I wouldn't quite call them a cream, but they're definitely not a powder. You see how pretty this is and how it just blends into the skin so seamlessly. I love this color too. It's so versatile. While I was going for a glowy look, we have achieved that. <laughs> for the sake of longevity, I am going to powder a little bit. I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite setting powders. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking setting powder. And I do like to bake a little bit with this. I don't heavily bake by any means, but I use my sponge to press powder in where I don't want to get creasy. So it's not necessarily baking, but I, I like to use my sponge to press in powder in the areas that are going to need it the most, which for me and for most people is going to be the T-zone area and then the under eyes. Also does well with this type of powder application. See, just made everything better. Now I'm going to go back to the Patrick Ta product and I'm going to use the powder bronzer now. Very, very lightly. Like I said, this is um, a little bit dark. So I'm going to use a brush that's not quite so dense. So that way we don't get too much color from it, but it still is going to set that product. Gorgeous. Then might as well put some highlight on because I already know what highlighter I'm going to use. One of my favorite drugstore highlighters, this is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. Beautiful. It really works as good as any high-end highlighters on the market. So I'm just going to pop this right at the tips of my cheekbones. See? Look at that. That's a high-end glow right there. I'm gonna put a little bit at the tip of my nose. Don't be afraid to get glowy with it. It's the holidays, ladies and gentlemen. I might come back to this. We'll see. But let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna pop down a little bit more concealer just to even everything out on the eyelids over here. So, a classic winter look that I love. And this is a look that I've been wearing some sort of variation of for many, many years now. A lighter glittery eye, pretty simple, and then a bold lip. It's a classic holiday look, and I'm pretty sure I do a tutorial like this almost every year using, you know, the trending new products, new techniques, all of that. So to start off, I'm actually going to go back into the Patrick Ta bronzer. I'm just going to use a little bit of it, powder bronzer, and I'm going to just lightly define find my eye, give it some shape for today because I'm not going to do too much definition to the eye. So this is going to give us what we're going to need for today. I love using bronzers for this natural defined kind of look because it pulls the bronze that you have already and it makes the look more cohesive. 
and bronzers typically because they are a face product just have less pigmentation so they aren't going to be too harsh for this step and I'm also just lightly as you can see using the tip of a shader brush just defining around the eye as well that's all we're gonna do nothing crazy a couple months ago at this point iconic London came out with the perfect holiday glittery eye product. I'm really, really excited to use these. Um, so I picked out two colors, but I think one is a little bit more cool. The other one is a little bit more warm. I think we'll go with the more warm one. So these are the Iconic London Glaze Crayons, and I'm gonna use the shade Champagne. So how it works, one side is a cream product, and then you can twist out and you have a glitter product. You can use one side or the other, or like today, you can use both. So I'm going to take the crayon and I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid. Then I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to work it out. I'm going to put a little bit down here. Nothing crazy. So this kind of gives a really pretty subtle champagne glow, but of course I'm going to go with the glitter side. Kind of question is that. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my lid and then I'm going to use my finger to work it out. These do need a little bit of time to set from my experience playing with these, but once they set, they're good to go. You do have some playtime with this, which I like. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, if you're worried about definition because I know this looks a wee a bit crazy, don't worry, we're doing liner, we're doing lashes. That's going to bring the depth to the eye. So I'm going to use my all-time favorite liquid liner. This is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. And I'm just going to create a nice wing. Don't talk to me though because I got to do this eyeliner I cannot talk while we're doing this hold up guys I'm telling y'all I don't know what it is about this eyeliner but I get my best looking wings with this always and I just I love a winged eyeliner with a glittery eyelid in the winter during the holidays it's so beautiful I'm just gonna quickly throw on some Tom Ford extreme mascara this is a decent mascara not as good as the eyeliner though okay I want to do a half lash to really play off of the wing so I'm gonna use one of my all-time favorite half lashes. This is the Huda Beauty Camille Lash. So I'm going to pop these on and I will be right back. All right, and now it's time to get into the goods. The star of the show, the holiday season. I love a big, bold lip. Red, brown, dark purple. A bold lip is what the holidays is about for me when it comes to makeup this time of year. I'm going to do a bold lip using Revlon's newest product. This is the Colorstay Matte Light Crayon. I've been playing with this for the last few weeks. It really is an awesome lip pencil. It's so easy to apply. It's so smooth. They have some amazing colors. There are 12 high impact color for whatever lip you're going for. Pink, orange, peach. There's a plum. There's a purple there's red lots and lots of options and they have so much pigment to them you guys this is a saturated matte lipstick that is 30% lighter than your average lipstick it's such a comfortable non-drying matte formula and what's special about it is it's made with a feather light nano pigment that is going to make the lipstick feel so light on your lips like you can honestly barely feel it that's what I mean by it feels 30% lighter than the average lipstick so I'm actually gonna use two shades to add some definition to my lips here. I'm gonna start off with Air Kiss, which is a deeper red shade. So how these work, let me show you. They're going to come in a with a nice tip. You do twist the product up. What's great is on the back here, you do have a sharpener so that you can keep the tip nice and sharp. So let me show you how to use it. Since I'm using this as the outer line to define my lips and be a little bit deeper, I'm gonna use the tip of it just to shape the outside of my lips. So I'm gonna use my pinky for some stability. You see how pigmented that is? And it's gliding on the lips. Kind of has like a buttercream scent to it. Really nice. Okay, and then to fill in the lips, I'm going to use a brighter color. This is the shade Ruffled Feathers. Such a fun pop to the face it's going to add. So instead of using the tip now, I'm going to rest it against my lip to fill in. Look, so much pigment. Did you see how easy that was? Okay, this is the perfect holiday red lip, perfect holiday makeup look. 
feels so nice and lightweight on the lips, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out and finish this up. All right, guys, so here is my uh, final holiday look with a simple glittery eye and a nice bold red holiday lip using the Revlon Colorstay Matte Light Crayon. Again, a huge thank you to Revlon for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. And thank you to you guys because obviously it wouldn't be possible without you. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.